Paulo Filo. Set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Paulo Filo is an elite grappler who's had a very impressive career in both Pride and the WEC. He has solid takedowns, good judo skills, and holds a Carlson Gracie Jiu Jitsu black belt. Paulo Filo, ready to throw down and put on a show. Rio Chonin, making his way to the world famous octagon. Rio Chonin is an aggressive fighter with a lot of heart and extremely well-rounded skills. He's got a ton of international experience. He's fought and beat some of the very best in the sport, including Carlos Newton and Anderson Silva. Rio Chonin, fired up and ready to go. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the former WEC middleweight champion, Paolo Eli Filio. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Yamagata City, Japan. Rio Paranha Shonen. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohal. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I'm in a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, let's come out fighting. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Polo Filo, Rio Chonin. And here we Let's go. Fight. Good body shot. Stuffed. Big right hand. right there he's got the takedown pushing his opponent away he lets him up nice right hand nice double leg able to posture up inside the guard side control nicely done and into full mount keep moving Under three minutes now. Oh, another one he landed. Oh, he got reversed. Able to pass the half guard. Posture's up. Oh, he gets reversed. Now into side control. Boom. Reversal. Very nice. Come down with a good one. Beautiful. Oh, reversal. Moves in a half guard here. Nice, nice. Side Thanks control. Done, Joey. Pushed down the leg, got the hip out of the way, and got into it more. Oh, he got reversed. Just over a minute remains. Great job on the reversal. Under a minute remain. Mount. Forty-five seconds remains in the first round. Oh, we got reversed. 
He's got side control. He ain't that one. Oh! He's got half guard. Moves into full mount here. Half guard. Back to full mount. Now able to posture up. Ah. Round one is complete. Joe, we saw that round mostly centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled, and both are looking to finish. Take a couple deep breaths. Look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches with him. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm lock. You can catch him all day long, okay? He's got it all day long. Go. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing and a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. Right here we see that tremendous counter shot land. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big force. The beautiful Ariani. We start round two. This fight's scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Oh! He's looking to take him down. He gets mounted. Oh, the double underhook didn't work that time. He's got his back. There he goes, Back Joe, to mount again. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Watch for him to grab your leg. Goes right into side control. Into half guard. And back to full guard. Side control again. Oh! He's got half guard. In the guard. Back to side control. Philo is bleeding. Half guard. Philo's really starting to bleed now, Mike. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. Look at the battle for control here. Man, he really wants this takedown. Yeah, he's really struggling here. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Side control. Boom! Half guard. Full guard here. Side control now. Nice punches from the top. Transitions to the full mount. 90 seconds remains in the second. Beautiful. He's in guard here. Side control. Just over a minute remains. In the full guard here. Side control. Under a minute remains. And mount again. In the half guard. 45 seconds remains. Oh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Beautiful hip toss. Okay, moves into the mount here. They have fought for 10 minutes. Round two is over. A great display of grappling skills in that round. Absolutely, Mike. I love a good jiu-jitsu match, and these two are putting on a show. You swim that arm hold. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. Come on. You good? Okay. He's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Good? All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's that massive shot that connected on the ground. And here was that throw. So much amazing technique in that. Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. You gonna go win this round? You got the fight. You win this round, you got the There's Shandella getting set for round three. You ready? You ready? 
And we are set Let's for the fight. start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He's got a clinch. And he's got, he's got the takedown. Total control from the top position. He's looking for a Kimura. Oh, man, really cranking on that shoulder. This looks bad. It's over. He taps. Wow. Locked in the shoulder. Locked in the Kimura. We have a new UFC welterweight champion. Yeah, here you see, as soon as he clasps his hand to his wrist, he's got it locked up, twists the arm behind his back, and his opponent is forced to tap. We see it one more time in the close-up. Connects that hand to the wrist, yanks that shoulder. Tap or have your shoulder pop. And with the official decision, Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kamura. And now, the new UFC Walter White Champion of the World, Paolo Eli Pilio. Polo Filo, the victor.